Jiwontenji here, back with my Let's Play of Faster Than Light. This is going to be the Slug Cruiser, the Briora this time around. Just another random name I made up. Better than um, Scrap Bucket, if I just say so myself. Uh, I only get two crew members this time around, but we'll continue with the trend of Ditter members. So, August of Midnight. Oh, uh, we'll just go with August then. And I believe Gaming with Failures should be next. One of the originals, of course. Um, gaming with gaming, sure. Fail. Gaming. Oh, gaming of failure. Oh no, that's wrong. Gaming with fail. Okay, so I can't actually see the fail or fails. Well, they are a two-person crew, if I recall. So fails would be better. Uh, I'm sorry to both August and Gaming Failures. It's uh, unfortunately the best I can do with your names, but whatever. Okay, we've got the anti-bio beam teleporting missiles, that's pretty cool. And uh, standard dual shot laser, that's great. Achievements, um, while on the slug cruiser, have every room of the sh enemy ship visible without sensors. Sensors. We don't actually have sensors anyway, so I guess you m might have to use the slug's ability or something. I don't know how to do that. Jump to 30 nebulas before Sector 8, which is the last stand, if I recall. I don't think it is Sector 10 for the last stand. It must be 8, I'm pretty sure. Um, while using the slug cruiser, kill killed three enemy crew members with one shot with the anti-bio beam. So these two are looking like the best opportunity to get Type B. I don't know how to go about doing that, but we'll have a look at it if we can. Uh, so without further ado, let's start the game. Now, hopefully, um, oh, distress. Uh, within the next few days, I'll be getting a Blue Yeti microphone, which will bump up my... Okay, don't try and put the fire out. Every time I try to do that, I, I lose a crew member. It's it's not good. Um, oh, what? Okay, so I actually got hurt on the hull. That's not great at all. Sometimes, uh, maybe it's the... F actually putting out the fire that gives you a crew member. Damn it. So already a badish start. At least I got some scrap from it, I suppose. Um, rebel ship. But yeah, I'll be getting a blue yeti, which will bump up my um, audio quality from my commentary, which will be absolutely great. So I can't wait till I get that, honestly. Oh, no, we don't want the bio beam for a, uh, what do you call it, life form less ship. That wouldn't be very great, would it? Um, alright, so we'll do that then. Since we're not, I must power out the engines a bit more. Since we uh, aren't using the bio beam, which is two energies. Alright, excellent, the shield got heavy hit. Got a hit on the weapons, that's great. So let's just keep targeting the weapons with auto fire from now on. And that should do just great. Okay, shield's critical, gaming failure should be able to handle that pretty easy. But, um... Apart from that, other upcoming things, I'm hoping to record some Dead Island again soon with uh, Techies. He just asked me recently um, when we uh, might have some time to do that, would be great. So, be good to actually start that series up again. Um, also, I want to try and get Terraria going again. It's uh, quite a fun series, at least um, while I'm playing it. Love being the farmer guy, sure. 10 scrap. Um, install a piece of equipment on a ship. Scrap 8 weapon hull missile. Oh. Huh. Okay, well, I guess I'll take the weapon then. <laughs> uh, hull missile. Interesting. Yeah, I suppose that's useful. Um, probably more so than the breach, maybe? Two times damage in systemless rooms. Uh, no, breach is kind of actually useful. But we'll take that off. Take the engine off. Put the bio beam back on, because you tend to encounter um, ships with life forms on them more often than you do with scout ships. So... That'd be good. Uh, 36 on that. Start getting the engine up. Um, sorry, not the engine, the shield up, because always good to have shields. I guess we're going towards the store. We don't really have much else of an option. Might actually end up coming back here momentarily. Drone control. Sensors. You can actually buy sensors, but if you do that, you void the, uh, the um, what do you call it? Uh, the achievement. Plus, I can already see where the enemy crew members are with my slugs anyway, so I don't really need sensors in it. Um, 
except for my own ship to see if it's on fire. <laughs> so, crew members, can't really do anything about that. I could sell the hull missile, 37. Um, I could then buy the human. Hmm. Maybe I should. Then again. I really don't need the whole missile. I'm, it's not it's not something that I would use, but I don't think I'd use the um the human either. So I think what I might do is increase my shield. Get it close to level two. Ah, that is level two. Okay. Um but of course I need two more reactor to actually get that going. That's fine. We'll go um Imagine here and then here. Okay. Don't want to get caught up by the rebel fleet, but I want to get as much explored as I can. Uh, offer to remove... What? You arrive to find a number of ships convening around the station. You tune in to hear the unencrypted communication channel and overhear half the conversation. It seems they need to take possession of an enemy ship intact. Now, if I'm not mistaken, I believe this is the stealth ship. If I'm not mistaken. But I heard that you needed an NG to actually do it. I didn't know you could do it with the bio beam. Let's try it. It's. It appears you could help. Bennett has made off some very important cargo, though I doubt they will have an understanding of what it is they stole. We need you to capture the ship intact. All right. Great. The coordinates. Do not destroy that ship. We'll be right behind you. Okay. So this, I believe, is the stealth ship. That is a really lucky find. That is uh, absolutely wonderful. Um, should I explore the, sh the asteroid field? Go ahead. A pirate ship? Fine. I can deal with that. In fact, you've only got one shield, so you're absolutely pathetically useless. Good job. Let's untarget that weapon until the bio beam charges up. I prefer to um, kill off the crew members, to be honest. So, if this is the stealth ship, I'll just keep targeting the... Uh, what do you call it? Um, is, does this actually cause hull damage or not? It creates a hull breach. Okay, I don't really want to do that. So I'll file the lasers on the shields for the stealth ship then, and then I'd use the bio beam, of course. That's fine. So we'll go for... No, for the weapons, please. We'll just go for the weapons. And... Oh, the crew member moved just away in time. What a sneaky bastard. But they don't have a med bay, so that sucks. Shit, I didn't mean to power off my weapon completely. Bit of a silly move. Uh, in f t t t I don't need the med bay yet, but I should see if it's on fire. It's not on fire. Okay, always good to check. Right, I have auto fire enabled. Fuck. Uh bit annoying. I'm actually taking a little bit of damage that I don't want to take at the moment. Okay. Ah, oh, it's not them attacking, it's the asteroids. Right. Okay. Okay, there's a fire in the O2 room. That is not great. I'll let you two go and deal with the fire together. Okay. What the hell? The bio beam is... <sighs> I swear to God, auto fight is... It's turned off. Great, now to wait for it to recharge again. I'm dealing with fires, I'm dealing with the oxygen being down, dealing with the shields being down. I might not even make it to the stealth ship. Good god. What the hell? Now my weapons are offline. Are you fucking serious? Oh my god. Come on. Don't dick me over. At least let a missile hit them. Uh tell you what, you go deal with that, you go to the CIC, wait, are you, yes you are, August is, in fact, the, okay, great, their shields are down, their crew member is down, at least one of them is, with the crew dead, you're able to take fuel out of the storage, you also take all the scrap you can manage, excellent, although I could have taken more scrap than that, if I was to be perfectly honest with you, unfortunately, I'm going to die because of these fucking asteroids. Oh my god. Repair the shields ASAP. Are you serious?
Wow, look at this. I'm getting completely owned. This is just terrible. Come on, come on. So the shields are holding. That's a good start. Um, we should start repairing all systems before we jump. So I've taken heavy damage, but it looks like my shields are going to hold through all of the asteroids that are coming in. That's, of course they're not. <laughs> oh boy. Let's go repair the med bay, guys. This is absolutely wonderful start. Okay. You can start moving in to the CIC, so can you. Okay. <laughs> Taking hull damage every every which way. Now, it's August that's in the CIC, and you can go back to the shields. If you go back to the shield zone. Really? Okay. That's fine by me. I'm just going to have to empty the, uh, the fire out, aren't I? Maybe now my shields will actually hold. Go figure. I have to wait till the fire's out. Which I can check by running out there temporarily. Still on. Okay, fire's are out. Let's close all these down, please. And then, uh... I, w I would say go to the med bay, but I really can't afford to stay here any longer. I'm just going to go straight for the stealth ship. If I can unlock that, that's wonderful. Even if I do die. Um, but they stress it's of great importance that you kill the crew without destroying the ship. Okay. Um, let's go for the sh No, 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 no. We're doing this problem again, Tim. Do not target with the lasers until the bio beam is ready. <laughs> it's utmost importance. Alright, so I can't kill all three of their members at once because the ship is a bit too spaced out. What the fuck? Really? For the oxygen? What a bunch of assholes. I've got to say. What a massively dick move. Okay. One more shot and those crew members are dead. So that'd be great. Without those two crimmers, we have a, a standing chance against them. Okay, dual lasers. I might take out the weapons quickly. I'm happy with that. Okay. And... Okay, they should be dead by now. But they're not. Interesting. So the shields are actually down. The crew members aren't dead yet. They're pretty powerful crew members. I won't lie. They might be like rock or something. I, from the looks of it, it seems to be taking two members, uh, two hits to kill most crew members. So I imagine, okay, maybe they're just taking different amounts of damage. Hmm. But that's fine. I should hopefully be able to get the bio beam up before the shields come up. Please. Yep. Right, let me go right through there. Do I actually have to hit the crew member or not? Because it seems to me... Let's take that off and put the breach up. I want to see if the breach does any hull damage. Because if it doesn't, I'm just going to go straight for the... Um, the shields constantly. So we're about to find out. It doesn't do any damage hull damage. It doesn't look like it. It still hasn't. Okay. Excellent. One more crew member to go. I'm happy with this. Uh, breach missile on those fucking weapons. Thank god. That's great. So it only does system damage. I am 100% happy with that. I'll have to keep that in mind. So, a couple more hits on... I believe it uh, there must be... That was a Mantis I killed earlier, so I don't know who the uh, pilot is. Might be another Mantis. Interesting. Maybe they're slightly resistant to the uh, to the bio beam. But that is not the end of them yet. Okay, one more hit. That's fine. I can understand that. And being a... I'd assume if he is a Mantis, that's why it's taking so long to repair the shields. Sucks to be you. 
But guess what? There's another there's another thing there. Oh, he's nearly dead. Really didn't even need to waste that. And that's that. Um, you wait for the merchants to arrive upon a message and say, Good job, we prefer if you did not speak of this to anyone. Ion Blast and 21 Scrap. Huh. So I guess that isn't the stealth ship, then? Interesting. Huh. Okay. Well, that's a bit of a shame. Ion Blast is... Eh. Wasn't really worth it, though, to be honest. Let's see. I might go down, and then we'll go east and then up. <laughs> yeah, east means right, whatever. Intervene? Yeah, might as well intervene. Um, they detected a high threat, which is me. Makes me feel good. Um, take out the weapons, please. That'd be wonderful. No weapons means I can't get damaged. That's always a good thing. I should actually uh, improve my shields next chance I get, which is after I kill this guy. Should have done it before I attacked him, but uh, I didn't. So there's that. At least his weapons are down now. <laughs> wow. Lately, the game just seems to be um, quite seriously trying to annoy me really bad. Yeah. Look at this. It's going to try and kill me this early. Can you, I mean, like, really? Okay, the weapons are offline. Thank God for that. Eight missiles? Are you serious? Is that all I've got left? Wow. Okay. It's, um... No, I don't want to use any more missiles. God. You know what I should do is I pair up the ion blast and keep the shields down. Hmm. Oh, really? That's fine. Ion blast the shields. That's great. Okay, onto the weapons, please. There we go. Now they can't fire at all. That's great. So, the Iron Blast, well, yeah, it's kind of useful for my ship. If I can survive. Which, I doubt it. <laughs> I'm about to die very soon. Um, yeah, drone part, 13 scrap, awesome, I suppose. Let's get another two reactor points, power up that. And I suppose I could actually have the breach missiles on as well. Um, then again, I don't really want them so much. I could work towards getting these plus the bio beam online but I want to keep some scrap I'm gonna exit the zone I need to get out of here ASAP and repair you know what oh god really now trying to escape damn it Tim <laughs> trying to be greedy <laughs> they're not equipped to fight okay let's see shields drones weapons Hmm, you're not equipped to fight very well, are you? My god. Uh, let's see, what could I possibly do? Breach missile onto the weapons. That's of utmost importance. Keep the ion on the shields at all times. And take out the drones, because that's a pretty important thing to do. Although I suppose... I could use the bio beam, but to do that, I'd have to take two weapons offline. Not worth it. Not not yet, anyway. Uh, the engine is actually still damaged, and I don't. No one's. Um, sorry, August isn't on the shields for some silly reason. Don't know why I did that. Right, let's take the breach missiles offline for now. And. Okay, the Ion Blast needs to stay on the shields, the dual lasers needs to go onto the weapons. Let's take out those weapons, please. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Okay, so the dual lasers, yeah, that's excellent. I'm happy with that. You should be able to take out those, those weapons completely now. Yeah, okay, we've got this fight. Without any hull damage, hopefully. So, there's that. Uh, engines are powered, so I might as well power them up a little bit more for now. And um, they escaped. Awesome. Well, until next time, everyone. This has been G1 TNG with my Fast and Light playthrough with the Briora, the Slug Cruiser. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please leave a like and post a comment below to tell me how I can improve. And feel free to subscribe for more. Thanks for watching. Enough with the missiles. I swear. Stop firing the fucking missiles.